Hi Pisces, you need to know this right now for March the 18th through March the 19th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for March the 18th through March the 19th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for March the 18th through March the 19th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for March the 18th through March the 19th, 2024. Show me. Happy birthday, Pisces. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Pisces. Pisces, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. And when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Could be dealing with a Sag. You can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance for Pisces. Clarify temperance for Pisces. Clarify temperance for Pisces. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> this is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Pisces, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Hmm. Pisces, you can tell me that you guys did break up, but they're coming in to apologize to you to heal things. You guys broke up and it's you coming in to apologize. You can tell me that they're coming in to apologize, but you still want to be broken up with them because you're needing to heal. You could also tell me that there was some type of financial lack, but there's some type of good news coming in with some type of compromise and negotiations here. Maybe you're patiently waiting for this person to apologize for whatever caused you guys to break up. Pisces, you have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Pisces, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Pisces. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So Pisces, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Pisces, like, was there a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument about your stability, your financial stability? Pisces, is there a rush to go into commitment? Someone could be proposing here, but it's a need to be patient. Is there a rush? Are we like broken up now? We're getting back together and someone's rushing to get into a commitment, get into a relationship, to level up, to move in together. You can tell me and you guys, it's already established commitment that someone was out being a player and this caused a breakup. And even though they're apologizing, you may still feel like you want to stay broken up. Pisces, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this could be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, but it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Pisces, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Pisces, it is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. Clarify the Empress for Pisces. It is clarified with the Hierophants. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces. Clarify the Hierophant for Pisces. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. Clarify strength for Pisces. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. 
But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Pisces, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Pisces. <laughs> Pisces, is something being brought to your attention that caused you to go stagnant with this person or something is being brought to your attention? Now you're recognizing why things are so slow, okay? I want to know if you're finding out that this person is already in a commitment, that they were playing around with you while they were in a commitment. Is this about someone rushing to get out of a commitment? so that you guys can get into a commitment you could also tell me that something was brought to your attention and you're kind of resisting a holding back forgiveness for this person because like i said there could be apologizing here but you may feel like you still want to just be broken up and you're resisting a pop well resisting accepting their apology or forgiving them concerning something here it's like something is like slow down and you're trying to be strong. Is this about you guys going into a commitment? You're having to be patient because is this person already in something or you're already in something? Patiently waiting for breakups for someone to get out of a commitment. Hurry up. Hurry up. Pisces, you have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun of Pisces it is clarified with the world so you may be at a distance from your partner either emotionally or physically at a distance you may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future but the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle closing out a chapter to start a new chapter so Pisces you can tell me that there's distance between you guys emotional distance a geographical distance you can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again Clarify the world for Pisces. Clarify the world for Pisces. Clarify the world for Pisces. It is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense. No, this king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces. It is clarified with the Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Pisces, you can tell me that you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. Hmm. Pisces, you can tell me that it was illuminated that this was a third party situation going on. So you're making a decision to close out this cycle with this person. But Pisces, I want to know if someone's making a decision <clears throat> to finally close out a cycle and you guys can be happy and get together, reunite, or even level up and have just cause to celebrate here. Are you happy that a cycle is finally closed out? Pisces, you have the fool. 
Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries. But you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Pisces. Clarify the fool for Pisces. Clarify the fool for Pisces. It is clarified with the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Pisces, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract, collaboration, or there's a third party. Pisces, you can tell me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship and had a third party. Pisces, you can tell me that you're willing to take this leap of faith and work things out with this person in spite of something being illuminated here or indiscretions and you feel like you need to just stay, you know, single and just broken up with them. But I also want to know if you guys are getting ready to just up and do it, up and go into some type of an agreement, maybe a marital agreement here. But someone had to hurry up and get out of a relationship, hurry up and handle that. Because you're happy that a cycle is finally closing out so you guys can decide to go ahead and do this, have just cause to celebrate here. Here's the proposal. But you needed to be patient. You need to hurry up and get out of something. To hurry up and go get into something. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Pisces. This is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Pisces. And this card that just wanted to jump out of my deck was TikTok, Deadline, Time Running Out. And it says cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity, cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? And it says lost, ghosted, block, cut off, lost, ghosted, block, cut off. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. Pisces, you need to know this right now for March the 18th through March the 19th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.